I was recently watching a video on the Make TV channel by Bree Pessis, who was building a foxhole radio. And one of the things that he needed to do was wind a coil for that. And I don't know if you've seen that video, but it actually uh, proved to be kind of tricky. Uh, and winding coils is generally kind of difficult if you just try and spool it, uh, because what you're doing is you're introducing a kind of natural twist to the uh, wire, which you don't really want. The best way to wind a coil is to use a jig and this jig is what I used to wind the uh, Tesla coil there which is about a thousand turns of wire and this is made out of an old grizzly lathe which is a relatively cheap lathe that you can buy I think it's uh, $60 or something like that but I had that lying around I also had an old stepper motor for which I bought a K179 stepper motor driver an old power supply for a laptop that's no longer functional um, mounted the whole thing on a wooden board and then put these two supports uh, and put some simple copper tubing across that and put my spool of wire on the uh, copper tubing just like that. Now one important thing to note is you need to tension this so what I actually did here, I hope you can see that, is I attached a pipe holder which actually has some felt wrapped around it and then that pipe holder is attached to a small L-shaped piece of metal which is actually taped just here to the uh, spool. So you can adjust tension um, by just tightening this up and that's really important because you'd want to maintain tension on the actual reel or on the coil as it's being turned. Um, so on the stepper motor driver I've got a speed control just there and um, direction control and very important it all runs from a foot switch. So by pressing that we can make the stepper motor turn and we can adjust the speed, slow and fast. <laughs> 